But right now, let's start things off by going south of the border. We gotta get going, where we going? And what are we going to do? We're on our way to somewhere, the three of us and you. What we see there, who will be there? What will be the big surprise? There may be signoritas, uh -huh. dark and flashing eyes. We're on our way. We're on our way. Pack up your pack. Pack up your pack. And if we stay. And if we stay. We won't come back. We won't come back. How can we go? We haven't got the time. But we're going. And, and we're going to have a happy time. Scribbler uh, from the Daily Scandal. I'm a reporter. And what can your chicky baby do for you? Well, I've wanted to talk to you. You want to interview me? <gasps> well, uh, not exactly. Oh, what do you want? Dirt. What? You know, scandal, a hot skinny. What really goes on behind the scenes? Well, I couldn't do that. There is such a thing as loyalty to one's fellow performers. Mm, too bad. Hmm. I also wanted to do a picture spread of you, something for page three. Well, first of all, I, yes, just the other day, yes. Hey, hey, wait a second. Hey, Scribbler, those are all lies. And now, pigs in space. The salubrious Captain Link Hulthrob. The provocative first mate, Miss Piggy. And the mythical Dr. Strangebook. When last we left the spaceship Swine Trek, it was drifting aimlessly in space due to the loss of power in the steering mechanism. Mm. Are you sure we've lost power on our steering mechanism, Link? Oh, I'm afraid so, Doctor. Try that one. What, this one here? Mm -hmm. I already did. I didn't see you. You don't have to see me. I'm the captain. Did you see him, Doctor? Uh, no. There. But if Link says he tried that one, I for one believe him. Thank you. Then you all stick together. I'm going to try that control. Now you stay on your own side. These are the captain's controls. Those are your controls. They're the first mate controls. You work your own. But my controls are just for the hot plate, the air conditioning, and the stereo. <laughs> they have nothing to do with steering. That's right. <laughs> Doctor, I'm going to take a break. Would you see that first mate Piggy works her own controls and not mine? All right, Link. I know that it's this one. Uh, no, but the captain said that... I don't not... care what he said. I'm going to try it. I heard that. Stop her. Uh, it's too late. This works the steering... Oh, the door. Tune in two weeks from tonight and miss next week's Pigs in Space. Okay, that Lynn Redgrave is wonderful as Maid Marian. Such a demanding role. Hmm, speaking of a, a demanding role, uh, yeah? uh, I do not have a role in this production. And uh, I am demanding one. <laughs> You see, there's only one female part. That, that's Maid Marian, and Lynn Redgrave is playing that. Oh, Bernie. You 
you were not listening, dear. I said, I am demanding. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. Uh, I, I guess there is a part here you can play. It would be a little rewriting, but uh, I'm sure you'd be perfect for it. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh -huh. Sister Tuck. Sister Tuck? No, I mean, you, you couldn't play Friar Tuck. Sister Tuck? Torture scene on next. On stage for the torture scene. You want torture? I'll give you torture. Let me explain. Sister Tuck! Sister Tuck! Good Robin Hood. Yeah? Pray, kiss me sweetly. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Piggy. Piggy, you Robin Hood. What? Thou art wanted in yon thicket. What? Ah. Ah. Okay, Maid Marion, to the dungeon. Ah. Miss Piggy, oh. I want to talk to you. Oh, you mean you wish an audience with Sister Tuck? <laughs> no, I want to talk to you. I want to know what you did with Lynn. Oh, remember, blessed are the meek. Well, what did you do with her? Meeker. Uh, what did you do with her? Oh, that's nice. She is in yonder dressing room. She's okay. Yeah, but uh, the, the big dungeon scene is coming up next. I, I'll go tell her. Oh, no, no. I'm, I shall tell her. It is the least that moi can do. <laughs> Ooh, hark! It is the beautiful Maid Marian. Lights. Piggy. <laughs> Hood, I am saved. <gasps> oh. Piggy, where's Lynn Redgrave? Um, stage fright. She won't come out of her dressing room. I, I thought it best if I took over her part. Piggy, oh, stage yes. fright. Uh, stage fright. Well, also, her dressing room door became sort of stuck. Oh. Stuck? Quick, quick, Mary Man, to the rescue, to the, the dressing rescue. room. Hey, let's me. go. Oh, and away we go. Wait, 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 it's me. I'm stuck here. Hey, come on. Help. Police. Will the sheriff do? What? Ah, kissy, kissy. Veterinarian's Hospital, the continuing story of an orthopedic surgeon who's gone to the dogs. Nope, I can't. I just cannot perform this operation. But why not, Dr. Bob? Well, frankly, I'm chicken. No, that is a chicken. You're right. Uh, besides, this should be right up your alley. That's true. I am a bird dog. <laughs> Are you really? Sure. Every year I fly south for the winter. <laughs> Don't, Don't your arms get, get tired? <laughs> well, now will be a moment of silence. Why? Well, that joke that just died in the operating room. <laughs> Seriously, Doctor, what about your patient? Well, we have a choice. We can do a chicken appendectomy, a chicken tonsillectomy, or a chicken curry fricassee. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, we gotta do something about this turkey. It's a chicken! I'm a chicken. The sketch is a turkey. So Dr. Bob has run afoul of a fowl. Tune in next week when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say... Many of Dr. Bob's patients are chickens. Why is that? Cause he's for the birds! <laughs> Holy maracas! Oh, hi! I'm Big Bird. Huh. No kidding. I'm a friend of Kermit's. Oh! Yeah, we both come from the same neighborhood. Sesame Street. Oh! Isn't that that cute little children's show with puppets? Uh-huh. Well, who are you? Who am I? I am Miss Piggy. Oh. Well, do you work around here? Uh, listen, yellow thing. Uh, do you see this star here? Oh, yes. It's very pretty. 
And uh, do you know why it is there? Well, uh, mm -hmm. perfect attendance? <laughs> the singing star of this show. A singing pig? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Kiss your feathers goodbye, <laughs> bird. <laughs> ah, you do acrobatics, too. She's very versatile. <laughs> First mate, this pig, and the inexplicable Doctor Strange. As we left our heroes last time, the spaceship swine trek was on the verge of a hideous catastrophe. Doctor Strange, Bork, who can save us from this hideous catastrophe? Captain, according to my records, the only person who's had the necessary training to save us is First Mate Piggy. <gasps> oh! I am ready to do whatever is necessary to save the swine track and her crew. I am at the service of all Porkton. What is my assignment? Miss Piggy, mm. you and you alone can operate the independent heating slash unifying element across the horizontal equalizing plane and save the entire crew of the swine track. Oh. Oh, I am ready, my captain. Excellent. Bring in the equipment for Miss Piggy. Well, surely you recognize the independent heating slash unifying element and the horizontal equalizing planes? You want me to do the laundry? Well, of course. Nobody on the crew has had clean laundry for a week. That is correct. We're all living like pigs. An astute observation, Doctor. Hey, what say? You want to play a little touch football, toss the old pigskin around, huh? Right behind you, Captain. Oh, uh, one more thing, Miss Piggy. A little less starch in the pajamas, okay? Oh, yeah? We'll starch this, sausage snout! Hi! See you again next time for another iron fisted episode of Pig in Mad about the frog. I know it's stupid to be mad about the frog. I'm so ashamed of it, but must admit the sleepless nights I've had about the frog. On the silver screen, oh, he melts my foolish heart in every little scene. Although I'm quite aware that here and there are traces of the cat about the frog. Lord knows I'm not a frog girl. I really shouldn't care. Lord knows I'm not a schoolgirl. In the flurry of her first affair, will it ever cloy? This odd diversity of misery and joy. I'm feeling quite insane and young again, and all because I'm mad about the frog. diversity of misery and joy. I'm feeling quite insane and young again.